In this short video, I'm going to show you guys two vital SEO plugins to use with ChatGPT. Now, these two plugins are going to definitely help you level up your SEO, but not only that, they're really going to help you look into exactly what your competitors are doing specifically for PPC ad campaigns. You'll be able to see all the details and things they're doing and words they're using. Now with that said, I'll put the steps and how to use these plugins on this page right here. There's a link in my description that you could get access to this page right here and it's gonna have all of my favorite ChatGPT prompts that you can simply just copy and paste. But first, I have to show you guys an amazing SEO prompts, one of the best SEO prompts I've seen so far. Now to be fair, I didn't create this prompt. I actually found this prompt within a prompt creation Discord server. It's Stunspot Prompting and this prompt was actually created by the user Dow Bay. A -O -B. So kudos to you for making this prompt. I tested it. I really enjoy it and I think it has a lot of potential. And so let's head over to my Airtable prompt database. Now I'll also put a link in my description for you guys to get this actual prompt as well. Now as I go down again, you'll see this prompt has a lot of information to it. It's a long prompt. Now the most important thing is, is that ChatGPT understands exactly what this prompt is and it does. So all you have to do, let's just go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt. Copy the whole entire thing. Now there's two things I want you guys to keep in mind. You want to make sure if you have access to it, you want to make sure that you can use this prompt in GPT-4. And then the second thing you want to make sure is that you have the plugins activated. In this case, we're going to be using the plugin WebPilot and this prompt is really going to work exceptionally well with GPT-4 and with the WebPilot plugin activated. Let's paste it into chat GPT and then just hit enter and then watch this magic happen. So as soon as you paste that prompt in, chat GPT is gonna ask you a series of questions. Once I have this information, I can start crafting an engaging high quality article optimized for search engines. And so I said my business type is a digital marketing agency specializing in SEO, digital marketing. Here's my target audience for people who are searching for an SEO or digital marketing consultant. I type that in, chat GPT says, great, thank you. And now it says, could you please specify the topic you want the content to be about? That's my topic, using ChatGPT to improve SEO. Now check this out. Now it says the top, perfect, thank you for providing the topic. Now let's move on to the SEO goals for this content. Do you have specific keywords you like to target or would you like me to conduct keyword research based on the topic and your target audience? Now my response was, you please choose the keywords. For my call to action, please create internal links to this page. And I added one of my blog posts. So I went ahead and just gave ChatGPT the power and authorization to choose the keywords for me based off of the information I already provided it. And so now it went ahead and created the content for me. Now let's move on to creating the SEO optimized content. And then here it goes. It gives me the title, a great meta description, introduction, and it did add that internal link right here where it says with a link to this page, if I click that link, it takes me directly to the page I asked it to. Okay, so now check this out. Now, in order to use this technique effectively, make sure you're on Google Chrome, number one, and then make sure you, you're gonna use the Chrome extension, Harper AI, which I love. And hit that backslash command button, and we're gonna click on AI Content Detector. And then it says in the bottom right-hand corner, analyze any text and provide an AI detection score from zero to 100. Now I'm gonna come over here, and I'm simply gonna paste the whole entire ChatGPT article that we just created. Hit send and see what score I get. Okay, check this out, it says AI detection score 80. And so today I'll put these plugins and then the prompts that go with these plugins on this page as well. And you could use any of these prompts for yourself in addition to the ones we're using today and then the prompts that go with these plugins. And so in order to get access to these plugins, make sure you're on GPT-4. And you wanna also make sure that you have the plugins turned on. And so in that case, these are the two plugins we're gonna be using today. The first one is WebPilot. And then the second one, we're gonna use competitor PPC ads. And so make sure you have these turned on. And so then all you have to do is just copy and paste this prompt I'm gonna provide you with right now. And so the prompt we're specifically gonna be working with today is a prompt that's gonna be used in conjunction with WebPilot. And it's quite simple. Search for topic or keyword, then find out what is ranking, please. See if, insert your URL, is ranking, and then give me a breakdown of the SERP terms of SEO, please. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by this. 
So back on over to ChatGPT, I'm gonna take that prompt and then just simply paste it, but with my own added bracketed text. And so I'm gonna paste it right here and then hit the send button and you'll see exactly what I mean. So in this case, I said, search the keyword Tomball SEO. Then find out what is ranking, please. See if metricsbule.com is ranking and then give me a breakdown of the SERP terms of SEO. And then immediately you could see that it's using WebPilot just by copying and pasting this prompt in here directly. And so here's the information. Based on the search results for Tomball SEO, here's the breakdown. Metrics Mule, this website is indeed ranking for the term Tomball SEO. And then it gives me all of the SERP SEO examples just like I asked it. And so what's cool about that is that I'm gonna get different variations each time. So here's the one I just used right here. And then I like what it provides you with. It provides you with the clickable links with the thumbnail. It will take me directly to the website that's appearing on the SERP results. And then I can also look at the other company's websites by clicking on theirs as well to see who's number two, etc. But over here, when I did it earlier today, I used the same exact prompt and then it did the same thing. It said, here are the top results for Tomball SEO on Google. And then here's mine again. And then it actually gives me the title tag right here as well. Whereas over here, it just gave me the SERP results and it said Metrics Mule, there's a link and this website is indeed ranking. They offer SEO services aimed at increasing rankings and boosting online visibility. Since I showed you the good side of things where I'm ranking number one, I did one from earlier today where I'm not really ranking at all. And so from this case, this was search Airtable Consulting and then find out. Here are the top results for Airtable Consulting. So none of these top 10 are me, Metrics Mule, and then it tells me for such. Unfortunately, Metrics Mule does not appear to be ranking in the top results for Airtable Consulting. So I have my work cut out for me. So if I'm not on the first page, let's see exactly where I am. So in SEMrush, I'm at the position tracker and for Airtable Consulting, the good news is, is that I'm on the second page at least. I moved up one from 20 to 19. And so I'm on the second page. Page, not the first, so I definitely have my work cut out for me. But using some of these plugins and tools like I'm sharing with you today, it's definitely helped me quite a bit to level up a little bit. It's not too long ago, I was like on the fifth page and you could see from May 18th to May 24th, I went up from eighth spot to fourth spot. And I think a lot of that has to do with some of these things I'm sharing and learning and showing you guys today. That's the first plugin I wanted to show you. The second plugin is very impressive as well. And for this one, I'm gonna show you my company I used to own. It's an e-commerce website in the automotive industry. Let's head back on over to ChatGPT and we're gonna go on to the next one. So the next plugin and prompt I wanna show you guys is called Competitor PPC Ads. And I'm gonna retrieve the latest PPC ad history for the domain. It's gonna create an analysis of every PPC ad that a specific company uses. Again, so now we're gonna come back over to ChatGPT. Now make sure every time you're doing this, you're on ChatGPT4 and your plugins are on. Cause I've tried this a few times on 3.5 and it couldn't do it. So make sure you're on four and then make sure you have the plugins on, paste the prompt and it gets right to work for you. So in this case at the bottom, please retrieve the latest PPC ad history for the domain findpigtails.com. So just copy and paste the URL you wanna get this information from. In this case, this is the company I used to own. And so because of that, I know everything this company does. In fact, I still consult for it quite a bit. And so I'll be very familiar with these ads. So then let's see if they're accurate. So as I hit the send button, you could see it automatically detects what I'm asking. It automatically said, use competitor PPC ads. So it knew exactly what to do. And then here it goes, it says, here is the latest PPC ad history for the domain findpigtails.com. Keyword automotive connector. This is all accurate. Keyword pigtail connectors, keyword automotive wire connectors. And so we have a lot of different ads. And then just looking at these title and body sentences, it looks all accurate. And so the first one, title, findpigtails.com, any automotive connector at your fingertips. That's one. And I'm looking at all these. And yeah, these all these are 100% our ads. They're all accurate. And they're the most updated versions of all the ones that I've created for this company. And then if you want to look at all the plugins that ChatGPT offers, you could also do that too by visiting the plugin store. And you could see all the multiple pages of different plugins ChatGPT has. And so I'm on popular and you can go to new. And there's going to be 14 pages worth of different plugins you could use for ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. And please make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos comes out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Rise up,